what, what the mate is talking about. Starting July 10th on CBS, Trilla, and Fight TV. That's right, every Saturday. Bring the fire with the big three, baby. Yay, yay. What's up, family? Ice Cube is bringing big three basketball back for a fourth season. And they're going to be at some of the biggest party destinations, including Vegas, New Orleans, and the Bahamas. If you want to check it out in person, you can go to big3.com and get yourself some tickets. Otherwise, if you can't make it, don't trip. Got you covered. You can watch it on CBS, Trilla, or Fight TV. Go on in. Fam, you know, it seems like it's been forever that black folks have been fighting the battle of the way our hair grows out of our head. Very unique situation. So, we got this organization called FINA. That is the Federation for International Competitions in Water Sports. And they denied a swim cap designed to accommodate diverse types of hair from the approval process to become certified to wear for competition swimming. Many people are saying that that is a racist load of Wakamali. <laughs> you know, listen, fam. Y'all think that's racist? You know? Some people say rules are rules. Remember what they said about Shakari? Rules are rules. My thoughts. I thought about it. You know, I got that, I got that radar for that racism, man, you know, and I don't mind calling it out. I'll be the first to call it out. But I, I'm not sure that this particular situation is racist. These Olympic games, uh, well, professional uh, sports period, uh, that high level stuff, they got all kind of crazy rules uh, that many of us think are insignificant. Like, damn, why is that a rule? Why is that a rule? Why is that a rule? So. I think it has more to do with these uh, antiquated ass or just ridiculous rules uh, more so than it does racism. And uh, do I think that they should allow the cap to be uh, included in competition? Absolutely. I think that there's room for some uh, exceptions. And I think this, is, this would be a good thing for the sport, for them to say, okay, we do recognize that and these caps that we that we have uh, that have we we have uh, certified to be used in our Olympic competitions uh, have limitations for certain hair types, and anything that can grow the sport is a good thing. So this cap that's called Soul Cap appropriately named Soul Cap. It should be included in the Olympics. People should be able to really wear that cap or any other cap as long as it meets certain specifications and it tucks the hair, it covers the hair, right? I think you should be fine. I think but you know, fam, I'm, I, I'm just not convinced that this is some type of, uh, you know, they denied them because they have some type of, uh, it's some type of aerodynamic ploy or something. I, I'm, I don't think that's the reason they denied it. But I do believe that in the coming uh, years that it will be denied, and probably as early as the next uh, Olympics in 2000, what would that be, 24? I think they'll allow it by 2024 because, you know, the world is changing, man. It ain't all, it ain't all Anglo-Saxon, you know. It's not all people running around here with straight hair, and, you know. It ain't never been that way. 
but I'm talking about in terms of uh, power and influence. That's changing. And so with that comes uh, consideration for those who have been left out. But anyway, fam, what do y'all think about this? That's my position. Do you think it's racist? Drop a comment. No more talk. Hey, yo, bring the fire all summer long with the big three and your homeboy Ice Cube. Starting July 10th on CBS, Driller, and Fight TV. That's right, every Saturday. Bring the fire with the big three, baby. Yay, yay.